news, don't we? We have very big news. Maybe the biggest. Right from the United States Supreme Court, yesterday the court handed down a victory for the Constitution, a victory for the rule of law, and above all, a victory for life. This breakthrough is the answer to the prayers of millions and millions of people, and these prayers have gone on for decades for decades and decades they've been praying and now those prayers have been answered to the generations of americans in the pro-life movement as well as countless constitutional conservatives your boundless love sacrifice and devotion has finally been rewarded in full congratulations and great time well ladies and gentlemen i want to welcome you back to a very special edition well it's not really a special edition i guess i'm just kind of getting back and right, right right back in the swing of things you know i'm fresh off vacation so pardon my delay welcome back hope you've been having a good day check it out we got a lot of important stuff to talk about right now we're gonna have people trickling in for those of you who are watching right now i think it's only a few of y'all so that's not cool but make sure those few of y'all who are watching give you a like or a dislike either way we didn't go ahead and get on to some news yo check it out this is gonna be a crazy episode up front i want to go ahead and just let you know probably gonna have to leave your feelings at the door or i try at least leave the feelings you know inside of the bedroom for a couple of seconds because i need to go ahead and be brutally honest in this today's episode in this tonight's episode this here episode all right i need to be brutally honest we're gonna have a solid we're gonna say a lot of things i want to take your calls though i want to hear from you as well so once again let's go ahead and get this thing started it's national bingo day ladies and gentlemen national bingo day you already know that's an awesome day right there shout out to all the grandmothers and grandfathers it's wind jammers day i guess that's some kind of boats wind jammers festival day at shout out to all my islanders and pacific islanders it looks like right there it's day of national unity in tajikistan it's also the helen keller day National HIV Testing Day, ladies and gentlemen, I'll cut the music right there. Make sure that you get tested, ladies and gentlemen. It's National HIV Testing Day. Do not play with your health. Health is truly wealth. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it, I keep saying ladies and gentlemen, but you got to watch this clip. I don't know if you've heard of it. Versus is this like battle thing where artists battle each other on this platform, right? And either they'll be rappers or something like that. And typically they're artists of a similar caliber. So if you had, um, you know, Taylor Swift singing, you'd have, I don't know, um, What's her contemporary? Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. Maybe they'd, be, they'd do a versus battle. If you had Jay-Z, you would do like Kanye West or you would do somebody else that raps with Jay-Z, right? Well, Ray J did a versus battle. And Ray J's from the group, if you don't remember the group, I believe, what, B2K? Which I don't know who they battle, but listen to this. Ray J's the uh, brother of infamous f- singer and much more talented singer, singer Brandy. Oh, we restarted. Wish to have a million bucks go. Well, I wish I don't be in love. So tell me, yeah. pretty baby, I make one wish and I wish it all on you. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Love to the break of dawn. Me and you to the baby's born. <laughs> Till my baby's born. He's holding the baby. <laughs> A mess. A mess. A mess. Well, we want to give uh, Ray J a huge shout out for that particular uh, f- amazing moment of entertainment right there. That dude is hilarious, man. If you just watch Ray J's interviews, uh, this is another pretty funny video clip before we go ahead and get into one last news article and then the discussion at hand. Make sure you like the videos, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. This is a this is a short one. <laughs> <laughs> that is indeed the beauty of on the couch. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> What's it, niggas? Well, I guess, dang it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have all the answers for you tonight. Roe v. Wade, what is it? What's the background? What is the Supreme Court? Why is the Supreme Court important? How did this happen? What is Joe Biden going to do about it? What do I think about it? What should you think about it? What do you think about it? We're going to talk about it all right now. Roe v. Wade. It just kind of popped up out of nowhere. But this is a 50-year-old, 50-year-old, right? This has been going on for 50 years now, 50-year-old law in the books, or what is this, a, a, a bill in the books saying that pretty much a woman has the ability and she has the right, in, in essence, right, Roe v. Wade, to, to go in and if she decides um, 
either terminate the pregnancy, either whatever it might be, or I don't know the terminology, yada, yada, yada. We'll get into that in a second. Now, I played this message to begin with because a lot of people have been kind of bringing up this, and I hate to even kind of get into it this way, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it, but I, and I, but I don't want to get into it. I, I'm only going to get into this particular portion of the message because I've seen this message floating around, and I don't want the divisiveness and things like that to kind of really take over and yada, yada, yada. Listen, I see black people in the back right now. You see those black dudes in the back? You think the black dudes are just happy because they just, because <laughs> it's just, because accountability? accountability truth the women now have to be accountable right i think that's why all the guys are pretty much celebrating right now the women have to now be accountable yeah and when we take up the cross of christ we're saying goodbye to sin goodbye to lying goodbye to whole monger it depends it depends because this is a much very deeper issue. Now, once again, I'm going back to the black guys in the back because we are a unified country, ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, we are the United States of America. All right? America. F yeah. America. F yeah. Right? So, maybe the brothers in the back like it because of the accountability. Who knows? Who knows? But let me tell you one thing. The reason I played this Donald Trump clip in the very beginning is because... Once again, the message has been brought up that this might potentially be a racially charged issue. What do I mean by that? This might be a racially charged issue. Well, I'm going to Google something for you. I saw this. I Googled this for you, uh, and I'm just going to show you. I Googled this term, white majority, white minority, 2045 census projects. Now, this was in 2018, right? But these uh, articles have been popping up a bit more sporadically. Um, will um, wh white Americans will they become a minority with some replacement worries? I, I don't know. I, the Must Patriot. Uh, okay, why? What the majority minority really means for America? The twisted logic behind the great behind the right's great replacement arguments. That was a month ago. So what's happening and what you're seeing in some aspects in some areas that's been argued on YouTube and yes, this is the political talk that I've been talking about that we could potentially be doing in the future. So if you like that, then go ahead and uh, thumbs up the message and make sure that you uh, donate to the Cash App so we can do more. Anyway, so it the the there's been a political kind of reference to their connotation that oh it's white people banning abortion simply because they see that in the year 2045 they're going to be a minority or they're estimating now i don't know whether or not that's true i don't believe that that's the reason but some people think that that's the reason i wanted to bring that to you okay once again though you can obviously see people in that video with trump that have, that have all supported it right that all support it and I know you might not support it, but guess what? The United States Supreme Court did support it. Now, I know you're probably asking about the Plan B. Can you still get Plan B? Will Plan B still be available? We're going to cover all of that in today's episode. Yeah, we're covering all. This is literally going to be a know all everything about the Roe v. Wade situation and what that means. So, yes, as of now, ladies and gentlemen, abortion is indeed illegal in 11 states. So it is indeed illegal in 11 states. That is what the information I've been given. Hopefully it's not misinformation. Please use that YouTube let me make it uh, uh, so 11 states and it's getting ready to be more states am, am i am i assume, assuming that correctly it's getting ready to be more states what that means is that yes indeed it will be illegal i know people have questions can you travel state lines and things of that nature how i interpret the line ladies and gentlemen is that that would be a you know interstate type of issue which would be a federal crime now i don't know how they're going to legislate this particular instance but the federal united states supreme whatever you want to say court has voted now how do they get to this point they got to this point because for whatever reason or another state and local ordinances and city and state ordinances governments or whatever it might be couldn't handle this issue in-house so it went all the way to the supreme court it went all the way to these bunch now this obviously doesn't have the picture of the latest supreme court member katanji brown jackson but it will most likely soon now now that it's at that point, they decided to vote, and we heard about the leaks and everything like that. The question starts to become the beg into the question, or become beg into the matter: How did this happen with an under Democratic leadership? Right, Joe Biden's the president right now, but I mean, we already pretty much knew that that was going to, you know, happen essentially, you know. And and I even dropped a meme when Joe Biden got elected. It was um, it's I'm not going to say the meme because it was kind of bad, but anyways. 
uh, you know, Joe Biden's not going to get elected again. I'll just say that. President Joe Biden's not going to be getting elected again. That's for sure, right? Now, let's go ahead and go back to Twitter for a second here. Now, we showed you the SCOTUS. We told you why, how everything happened. Listen, this has people in whew, a frenzy. I don't even know if it's the right word. 90-something-year-old lady. Audio, Jesus. 90 years old, and this is the saddest day of my life. She says this is the saddest day of her life. The saddest day of her life? This is the saddest day? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Y'all might really hate me after this. Uh, I made a message. I made a message a couple days ago. I lost like 400 subscribers, right? I was like, damn, I think that's because I'm talking about Cynthia G. So, sorry. Uh, I need to apologize to myself. What? What am I missing here, ladies and gentlemen? And I say this as a completely un ignorant completely ignorant but wanting to know truly what's going on with this issue and why why some people are offended so now i'm going to open up the zoom so download zoom on your phone or your tablet or your computer or your android your macbook or whatever the heck you're using right now a psp ps vita for my really creative uh, firmware breakers and intuitive hardwares uh and i want to i want to talk to you specifically now We'll keep it respectful. Even if you are disrespectful, we can you know, raise our tempers and voices at each other. But let's try not to dox each other's personal information and get too personal. Now, this is the saddest day in this 90. You lived on this earth for 90 years and this is the saddest day of your life. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Bro, you got 10 years left, and this is how you going out. She's really sad, though. Look at that. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now... Hey, y'all might be upset at me after today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, y'all might be upset. All right, so let's go back to some more history. What is Roe v. Wade? What are these ants? Well, these ants are fire ants. Roe v. Wade, according to this reporter, in what, 1980-something? All right, let's watch it. Jane Roe's story was a terrible one. She said she had been gang raped, gotten pregnant, was desperate to get an RIP to my monetization. An abortion. That's what everyone believed as long as Jane Roe remained anonymous. When she went public, she told a different story. You were raped while you were in Georgia? No, I wasn't. You were not. The hell, Jane. All right, so we're going to pause it right here because some of y'all might not know the significance of that. Now, this essentially was conceptualized as what some people would say was an ultimate white supremacy type of program. Now, I don't think it necessarily was. Some people say it was. Some people say it wasn't. But this is what the lady is admitting that the actual case, Jane Roe, Roe v. Wade, was based on. The actual person here is saying that the facts of the matter of the case are not what everybody thought that the facts of the matter of the case were based on. So that means that, yeah, you know what? There might have been something nefarious at hand. She wasn't actually gang um touched and things of that nature who knows what really happened right who knows what happened behind closed doors i'm not gonna say anything i need to be monetized donate to my cash app now going back to this that would indeed indi indicate something's a little off right no i wasn't oh, so all those stories that are in the books and so forth are not true yes sir yes they're not true right and it turned out that lying wasn't the only embarrassment this darling of the pro-choice forces presented. In her personal treatise published last year, Norma McCorvey told the story of her somewhat sordid life. Then she still adamantly supported abortion. Now she adds that to the list of sins she took with her into the baptismal pool. I've cheated people out of money. I've sold drugs. I 
you know, I, I, used, I, was, a, I was an abusive alcoholic for, you know, many, many years. Um, I've done a lot against his teachings. Um, that I, I All right, real. Well, it's not confession time right now. All right. So, some thought that it was this, once again, conspiracy theory that there were people trying to wipe out an entire, right? Well, let's just go ahead and legalize this. We'll, get, we'll make it seem like it's rights for women and this, this, and that. I, I'm saying that's what people are saying. I'm not saying I'm saying that. All right. Let's go ahead and move to an article. Before we go back to Twitter, Twitter's on fire right now. <laughs> Jesus. Woo! Can you still buy Plan B? Let's go ahead and take a side tour right now. Let's go ahead and take a detour. Can you still buy Plan B? Yes, yeah, yeah, guess what? You can. Where can I get it? What to know after the SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, overturns Roe v. Wade. If you've had unprotected SE and you don't want to become pregnant, you may be lurking for emergency contraception. <laughs> yo, yo, they're dropping bombs of insults right in the first sentence of the article. This is USA Today. They are straight insulting. They're, that's major shade. Major shade. If you've had unprotected sex and don't want to become pregnant you might be looking for emergency contraception the morning after pill is a safe and exceptional option uh that's kind of shady in my opinion maybe it's not maybe i'm looking too far into it all right the challenge is in accessing this kind of emergency uh, contraception continues and the barriers aren't equal for everyone plan b's are 40 to 50 dollars price tag is unaffordable for many conscious clauses and some now i've heard people are having a hard time finding it so what i went ahead and did is i you know did what all everybody else did or does i went ahead and went to the plan b site on my walgreens which is by the way supportive of lgbtq rights if you see that in the top hand left hand side there wanted to make that very uh, effectively clear no all right all right here we go there's none here right now as a matter of fact i went to a couple other places but let me go ahead and just try one more time because you know what? I don't know if I use the uh, the, the marketplace. I say plan B near me. Okay. So it's in-store pickup today. Listen, y'all, we still got plan B out right now. In-store pickup today. Let me not dox myself any further right here. Um, Walmart. Let's see what the Walmart says. Free shipping. Add to cart. Can I add it to cart? Uh, yeah. Okay, listen, they're still there. They're still there. Let's go back to the article. So can you actually legally take it? In the way to the Supreme Court ending the constitutional right to abortion, people across the U.S. can still buy and access emergency contraception like morning after pills, but many fear what the reversal of the 1973 could mean for other rights protected under the right of privacy, including contraception of the whole. So right now, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can still buy, and you will still be able to buy contraception and or plan B morning after pills. I did find a couple of interesting things about that. Now, what does that article mean? Well, there are rights are potentially under attack. It's kind of the same thing that the Second Amendment or the 2A gun community of America starts to really fight hard after after like a one small thing is banned from a you know like from the gun rights like they just got done banning a certain type of ammunition i think joe biden just got done banning something i forget what it was and they're like all freaking out because they're like oh my god joe biden's banned it finally like it's a, it's a wrap we're not gonna be able to do it anymore it's going down we lost our rights after they take this they're gonna take everything and then it's down with america we're gonna burn in hell right and it's not necessarily like that but there is i think to some extent there is some credence to that and once you give them an inch they take a mile with the government people don't want to give the government anything because there's already a, a mass popular idea that the government is out to kill us all maybe they are i don't think they are but maybe they are who knows so today marks the day that the supreme court of the united states has officially overturned roe v wade and with that crushed a 50 year precedent Protecting a woman's constitutional right to a safe abortion. Gone. Am I scared? Absolutely. Should you be? Absolutely. All right. Now, I, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I want to be completely, you know, right now. She says she's scared. I'm not sure what she's scared of, to be quite frank and honest with you. I also want to say, if you're here to just specifically listen to Cynthia G, or if you're listening for the Cynthia G, we'll probably get to Cynthia G in a couple minutes. Uh, I'll open up Zoom right now as well. If you want to hop in the Zoom panel and talk to me, let me know what I'm missing about this entire thing. You can hop in the Zoom conference. Talk to me. Let me know what I'm missing about the entire thing. Whoever just messaged me, I, you see I'm streaming right now. <laughs> Why'd you message me right now? Toast. <laughs> it's all right, though. Bro, I appreciate you watching. Good to see you. All right. Join with virtual camera. Here's the invite to the sh to the Zoom. Click this link. 
enter the password that's going to be uh, put in the top. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to the mods. Listen, I got word that we had a moderator. The passcode, by the way, if you're not watching on audio, if you can't actually see the password code is E capital Z N capital V five P E capital Z N capital V five P. That link is there. We have the best mods in the world. We had a mod that was actually moderating while she was on vacation. What about condoms? Don't worry. You can let me know what you think about all of those. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and mod up Miss... Uh, let's go ahead. And, oh, AK has been a, a member for such a long time. Uh, Laura's also been uh, in, here for a long time. Jay, you were one of the first ones in here, so we're going to go ahead and give Jay a wrench. We're going to go ahead and give Batty Gal a wrench. That versus was horrible, Batty Gal. Batty Gal, welcome to wrench. Jay, welcome to wrench. It's good, so good to see y'all. And Andrea, what about condoms? Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll we'll get to that in one second, Andrea. We'll get to that in one second. All right. We'll get to that in one second for sure. Condoms definitely do work. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you do decide to join the Zoom meeting, just say something while you're in the background. Let's get back to this. Condoms still widely available. We're still good there. We're still good there. We're still good there. Let's get back to the madness for a second, shall we? Let's get back to the madness. Okay. If I can exit this Zoom uh, invite. All right, so this lady's really upset, right? I, it doesn't look to me like this would be something that would necessarily affect her because I'm not sure if she's having, uh, if she's looking to get pregnant herself. You know, just by judging her and, and, and maybe I'm, you know. Because this isn't where they're stopping, right? It's not just this. If it was just this, I'd be scared and terrified, but it would be a one-off. This is what they're also doing. This Supreme Court has also just passed a judgment whereby for the first time in U.S. history, it is your constitutional right now to take tax dollars, public money, and redirect it to private religious education. All right, well, I'm lost at this point. So, hey, whatever her mission is, uh, best of luck to her. Uh, I'm pretty much gone. So, it ends up being this weird kind of, you know, mess, messy type of really big, big political type of thing because obviously it's, it gets she spun it off into all different types of things. And I, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as basic as, as, as the argument can be in this case, right? And once again, I'm not going to lie, and I see the arguments. I think the big problem is this, and I'll be quite frank and honest here. This might piss people off. I think this is the big problem. Yo. The big problem is that there's no way, essentially, to, like, nah, it's, that's, that, that's so hard to say. Let me just read y'all's comments first before I say that. Let me read y'all's comments. Ah. <laughs> oh, that sounded like important info. All right, I'll go back and watch it. I was going to say something, but I don't think I should say that, yo, because people are going to be like, yo, what the fuck did you just say, dude? Did you really just say that, bro? Like, uh, yeah, truth. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time, y'all. Okay, bands off our bodies. My, my body, my choice. Okay, I get that for sure. I definitely, I understand the concept. I'll go back to whatever important info she's talking about. Let me go back to this. Let me, let me go back to it. Maybe she was saying something. So today marks the day that the Supreme Court of the United States... I'll talk about Cynthia G in one second, y'all. Cynthia G in one second. Well, probably like 10 minutes. ...states has officially overturned Roe v. Wade. Private religious education... You think those two decisions don't go hand in hand? You don't see the theocratic underpinnings of those decisions? And I'm not putting Alito and Kavanaugh and Barrett in the same category with loving, accepting, tolerant Christians. These people are using and manipulating religious beliefs and doctrine in order to gain power and exert control. They have also just overturned New York State's law banning the concealment and carrying of weapons. So they have now made... Well, I'm going to have to go ahead and drop the bomb. Up. <laughs> you 
Y'all know how I feel about that. We got to drop the bomb for that one. It your right to conceal and carry a firearm in the United States of America. Make no mistake, that's not about freedom. That's about power. And who's going to have that power? I promise you, it goes with the first two decisions. All right. I'll, go, I'll, let, I'll let her keep going. I look at this. and I So let me just stop her here. Okay, so she's comparing the government reaching out and expanding their power beyond what they should be doing, right? Okay, cool. I get that. That's what people have been fighting the power of fighting against the man for for essentially ever, right? Um, she's comparing it to owning a gun or having your gun rights taken away. <sighs> To some extent, yes, they are both indications or indicative of the uh, importance of life, if you want to be completely honest with you, right? Uh, but I think it's really important to, to really discern what she's saying here. And I want you to, to really pick that apart. And it kind of just hit me. Guns are used to do what? If in the hands of a good person, you know, a gun is uh, used to hopefully if you ever have to, you know, God forbid you ever have to. But a good guy with a gun, you know, was well, supposed to fucking if, if you're anybody but you value the police department, you know, guns in good guys hands is a great thing. Right. And if you ever have to use a firearm or any kind of thing to defend yourself, it could be a great thing. It's a tool to defend yourself. And just like this young lady is saying. Whenever you have tools to defend yourself less, it's a form of control from the government. So she's saying, I don't want the government to, I don't think it's right for New York to get rid of concealed carry and things like that, right? But remember, the idea of guns at one point in time was that a, a, a trained militia ready, you know, and, and, and ready to rumble against the, the, the tyranny of the local government. That's what guns were created for. That's what the United States government was built upon. It was built upon people fighting against other people telling them or trying to tell them or trying to boss them around. Right. And so guns became a very integral part of protecting one's identity and oneself and one life. And so that's why so many people fight so adamantly against guns. Now, I want to go ahead and uh, let's talk about this abortion thing for a second. The same thing that guns fight to protect is what abortion essentially fights to protect as well. Our anti abortion fights to protect, which is life. Right. Um, and so it's confusing because I hear her arguing for life. And I hear her arguing against, oh, my God, how can you take these guns that we Americans can't use to protect ourselves? But in the same breath, I hear an argument against life, quite frank and honest with you. And I know that y'all might not understand or agree that a fetus is a baby, is a human, is a soul, is a whatever. I don't know. At this point, we can agree to disagree. But I'm just saying, using the same train of thought that a lot of people have regarding the situation, there are so many just blatantly obvious holes that I poked through. And that's why I'm interested in hearing what y'all have to say. I'm going to read y'all's comments as well, but I'm really interested in hearing what y'all have to say because I've thought about this abortion issue for a good amount of time. And uh, I'm pretty solid in my stance on it for a lot of different reasons. And once again, I've thought about, you know, all kinds of ups and downs and where I'd stand in that. But it, it, it seems to contradict itself with, with people. You know, for instance, I'll just be completely honest with you. Uh, everybody's so broken up about this Uvalde school shooting thing, um, but they're the same ones that are like storming down, you know, rampaging about how bad, you know, the the anti-abortion is, right? Or they'll be the same, it, it, it's, it's crazy, yo. Like, I just don't understand how could you be for, and it's kind of like the Cynthia G thing, right? Somebody commented on the last video with the Cynthia G thing. They were like, Cynthia G has didn't, she didn't say that she didn't she said that she loves you know black pole this this and that and so she's still tra staying true to the message telling us to divest because that's the reality of the situation and even if she did truly become a baby mama wouldn't that actually v validate her message that's what somebody told me and commented and i was like well i mean if you're thinking about it in this in simplistic layman's type terms and i guess maybe it could validate her message i mean is that the message that you want your leader to actually live a life that's been validated by per se is that's what's going to lead you to your promised land <laughs> go ahead but it's not actually what's going on because if you're cynthia g you can't tell black women to divest from black pole while you proclaim that you ride black pole you can't tell black women to kill their sons which are black poles as you ride black pole allegedly and you've had a child allegedly even though it's pretty much confirmed with text messages and you saying still pregnant and things of that nature even though allegedly you were riding a black pole of another guy who's a claim to that David you said is a great father to all five or six or seven or eight alleged baby mothers or however many he has right so 
I, I'm just saying, like, the contradictions are so blatantly, like, obvious that it's like, okay, no, you can't say abort black babies, but then you got pregnant by a black a black guy and then had our black boys, right? We don't know what, what her child is ultimately at the end of the day, but just think about if she actually does have a black son herself. Now, people are thinking it's a daughter, but because they've heard like a child's voice in the background or something like that who knows right this is all legend she might not even be pregnant i'm just saying that there were text messages of her with some kind of obgn listen she's been getting lit up Woo! woman's fear has been destroying cynthia g my god almighty listen the enemy of my enemy is my friend so woman's fear <laughs> hey <laughs> woman's fear is uh lighting her up she's got these personal pictures i'm not gonna put them on uh my live stream because i'm trying to stay monetized for as long as possible even though messing with y'all that's gonna end probably no i'm kidding but um i i saw the pictures the pictures are crazy cynthia g was definitely taking some sexy pictures uh you know so she got roasted the kingdom come Woo! you know she's on the internet now uh her personals are out there her information's out there i think cynthia is strong enough to where she's probably gonna water off a duck's back it i think cynthia is somewhere eating popcorn right now just being like child please per you know i think she's really just chilling right now she's probably not even tripping cynthia is a mental monster yo and if she's not then she fakes it like a mug. She's a a list a list actress for show because I don't see any shaking moment in Cynthia G's face, personality, mantra, message. She's not she's not going anywhere, dude. Neither is this chick right here. Let me get back to this thing because I feel like I just don't understand this entire concept. Cynthia, you can't say to abort black children when you made a black child with somebody. And it's a black male or black board black males it just doesn't work like that cynthia g okay so you're gonna have to switch your message but at this point she really can't switch her message and now people are pinning her to the cross right now she is starting to get a lot a lot a lot of heat if you don't believe me just go to youtube right now and type in cynthia g cynthia g we'll see what pops up really quickly cynthia g uh kevin samuels was, was memorialized uh people so people are defending cynthia g but my gosh i mean let's look at this cynthia g uses black women's pains for views and sucks black dingling exposed <laughs> it is bitch so i just talked to my therapist so i'm glowing right now <laughs> <laughs> i'm feeling, feeling a lot better you know how you just talk to a therapist and you finally <laughs> she talked to a therapist that came right to youtube for the bullshit you feel like weight has been lifted off of you you feel so much better i love it and you're like god damn it it just feels like i took a 10 pound <laughs> shit anyway yo chicks like this are so fun guys fellas when you get chicks like this they're a blast dude man hang out with them man treat them well treat them good man they're 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 they'll always be a good time and they'll always have your back telling you about this i made a video a few days ago talking about cynthia g because maybe not always have your back but they'll always be a good time because you know like like i said i have a love-hate relationship with cynthia g i'm not really a fan of her what she does say is true a lot of things she says in her who they really choose series is true black men are colorist black men choose bad built becky's over us. All right, all right, all right. We're going to get to that. That's for another live stream. But listen, I just wanted to bring that point up to you because it does bring in the question. Well, maybe not question, but it does bring in the speculation a few different things here. Now, that's the 22,000 stream 10 days ago live stream that does feature Cynthia G with some of the clothing, some of the experiences, if you will. Uh, and Fox Soul has been tagged. If you see the hashtag Fox Soul, I did tag Fox Soul as well, my video as well. Right. And this there's I mean, listen, guys, people have been making videos of Cynthia G for I don't even know how long. Right. Cynthia G's still going. She's not stopping. She's not stopping. All right. Let me get back to this. Let me read some of y'all's comments. Make sure I haven't gotten too threatened yet. Like the video. Make sure we like the video, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure we like the video. If you let Cynthia make you do anything, you need help. <laughs> like the video, y'all. Like the video. Gemini agents is. Gemini Flower says Cynthia G's an agent mm. used to make us abort our fetuses for government purposes. The same with the swirling movement. Jeez. We've just crossed over, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the twilight. Summer Tea Time says, I know my sister almost had an abortion once and luckily we tucked her out of it. The baby boy is the sweetest, cutest baby I know that deserved a chance at life. My goodness. Laura Garrow says, souls never die. They go to another vessel. Angel Martin says, one thing I know is God is populating eternity with these babies. 
Bella Evidencia says, so sad you would compare a child to your waist. Very sad. JJ said, most of the fight for the Roe v. Wade was regarding grapes and for the medical concerns of the mother. So, this is something I hear all the time. And when it comes to the grape situation, right? When it comes down to the, okay, well, what if a woman is graped? What if she is sensually assaulted? What if she's this, she's that? Yo, if that happens, I am 100% behind a woman terminating that pregnancy. That's not even a question. That's no question. But there, I'm sorry, There's, there will never be there will never be 100% of my fiber that can just completely stand behind this concept that it's okay to just ab abort, to just abort, mission abort. I'm sorry. I, I just, I have such a hard time grasping that. But once again, under those, those circumstances, those, those rare circumstances, albeit, um, maybe it's not rare. I'm not sure how, how often grape, grape occurs uh i'm not going to tell y'all if y'all have but i think that to be graped and then to actually get pregnant from that grape that's a that's a pretty you know it, i mean that's a series of unfortunate events that have to occur for that type of situation to actually enact and happen you know what i mean but even even then uh, most people can't use that excuse most most people that have had kids have weren't graped they might not have known their significant other at all or that much, but that's simply a, a, an advent in modern-day technology. That's not because they were graped or coerced or had a gun put to their head. I mean, everybody knows what happens when you have sex. Everybody knows what happens. Everybody does. Everybody does. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, I mean, here, here's my thing, yo. There have been situations in life that have happened to me that happened because I made a choice or because I didn't make a choice and I had to, do, I had to handle that situation. For instance, I was in jail and nobody got me out of jail when I had to sit out for like three weeks, right? Well, I, I sat in jail because I didn't pay my tickets. I know everybody knows if you don't pay your tickets, you go to jail. Now, somebody might help you out and bail you out, but your family might decide not to bail you out. You know what I mean? But you still know what the deal is. It's not like you're driving around and then you got pulled over. You're like, oh, my God, I didn't know I was going to jail. What? I didn't. I had no idea that officer. I thought y'all just kept would just keep writing tickets for forever. Now, the question becomes, OK, is jail a humanitarian type of is jail is jail a, is solitary confinement? OK, that is 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 that an actually humanitarian need? Uh, that's a very difficult question to ask from somebody that wasn't aborted. I have a hard time talking about abortion with anybody that's living. I want to thank my mom and my parents for not aborting me. You should thank your parents for not aborting you. It's just it's 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 not even I mean, the 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 bigger thing is it's not even it comes down, JJ, I, I, I'm with you as well. It's but the pro-life thing, it's it's about just reality, right? There's not going to be anybody really to bail you out of situations in life. And so us creating this, I mean, the the biggest form of bailout. And once again, we've spoken about it briefly, but still the entire psychological, emotional side of Abortion is really, 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 really tough. You know, it's really tough. Uh, for some ladies, maybe it's not as tough. I don't know. I ain't done it before. But I've read some stories that were pretty tough. I read a story about a lady who aborted her, her kid, and she would dream about what her kid looked like. 
and she would dream about her daughter. She said it was a daughter, and she would dream about her daughter, and uh, she'd wake up and her daughter wasn't there, but in her dream she's there, and she said it was it was the most horrific thing. It sounded it was it, it, it seemed bad. Um, I was like, damn, I ain't never heard nothing like that before, you know. Never heard nothing like that before. The thing that pisses me off about Sinji is that she still tells her fan base to have sex with black men or don't have any consequences. Gemini Flower. Gemini Flower with a good comment. That's the bigger, bigger, bigger issue. And that's why I have an issue with this abortion thing. The abortion thing isn't solving the root cause of the issue. The root cause of the issue is making sure that if you're going to have sex, if you're going to speed, if you're going to drink, if you're going to smoke, if you're going to go to the gun range, if you're going to skydive, if you're going to do anything that has any amount of risk in life, you need to make sure that you prepare yourself. You know what I mean? The Zoom code's not working, my bad. Y'all know the Zoom's trash. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get another Zoom real quick going. Uh, you you might have to do like caps lock and stuff like that, bro. You might have to do caps lock. I'll type in the Zoom code. Hang on. No, I mean that's the Zoom code. You're gonna have to. I put it up there again. You're gonna have to make sure that it's case sensitive. So you have to do capital letters and lowercase letters. And then when you get to the Zoom, make sure you say something. This is the issue, though, y'all. It don't. It's not even really about abortion. It's just about like, you know, being careful. Now, here's my thing. If 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 if, and I I get that things happen. I've been in the heat of the moment too, y'all. I really have. Even in the heat of the absolute moment. I was deathly afraid of getting a girl pregnant. That's why I don't have any kids. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I, and I don't even want to get into the descriptive and stuff like this. I'm not saying it's just a brag or boast. I am kind of saying that a little bit. <laughs> no, no, I take that back. That's going to get me canceled again. I'm going to lose another 400 subscribers for that. Listen, my my number count, my, my oh, I hate to even talk so vulgar. Jeez. Donate to my cash app. My number count is in, should I say this? Should I say this online? I was going to ask, I was going to ask. Uh, Listen, I'm not a, re oh, jeez. In college, college is wild for me, okay? But even in the most wild college experiences, still, it was, I could be sloppy drunk. No, 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 no. Nah, you know, negative. We have to be safe. We got to be, we got to, I can't take a kid right now. I can barely take care of myself. You know what I mean? I mean, some people just legitimately don't, some people legit don't care. You know what I mean? Some people don't care, y'all. So it's like you, you are, you're, y'all have to be careful because you're fighting for a lot of people who don't, who don't care whether or not they bring life into the world. And you might care about actually bringing life into the world because you're like, listen, I'm not ready. They're not ready. It's going to be, be a bad life for my kid. It's going to be this, it's going to be that. But like some people aren't thinking about that necessarily either, but you're all kind of in this same boat floating along the same path. Like you're going to the same destination and that's just not the case. What did I say? Did I say something funny. I don't even know. Yo, what's going on? Are you able to join the Zoom meeting? No? All right. Maybe next time. You know what I mean? Um. So let's get back to this thing. And, and this is another issue that I have, and I was actually speaking with this about one of my family members, right? My entire family voted Democrat, I'll be honest. I didn't vote at all. And I was talking to a lot, just like some of us do, about politics, you know, because obviously black people like to vote Democratic and this, this and that. I mean, you know, you have to like certain content creators. You have to like your Cynthia's if you're in black women empowerment. You have to like the Coach Greg Adams or the Kevin Samuels if you're in the manosphere. You have to do certain things in society a certain way. And just like Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for, you know, for if you don't vote for Joe Biden, he literally said you're not black. All right. I don't have that clip. Let me can we load that up? Yes, we can load that up. Let me load that up. I don't have an assistant, so. Joe Biden, you're not black. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all elected. 
y'all elected this guy, you know? Um, we're going to talk about this the politics for a second, though. We're going to talk about like this. Looks like Joe Biden has stuck his foot all the way in his mouth. Who will be Joe's? Who is being considered, but I guarantee you there are multiple black women being considered. Multiple. Charlemagne had a follow-up question, but got interrupted by someone off camera saying their time was up. The radio host instead invited Biden to come back, but Joe's response was off-putting. Listen, you gotta come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. The comment may have been directed just at Charlemagne, but... All right. So this is this is a mess right now at this point. All right. I just want to bring Uncle Joe in just to clarify and shed some light on the situation. All right. <laughs> Y'all voted for him, but let's talk about Democrats and Republicans for a second, okay? Can we? Yeah. Uh I have a pretty pretty smart guy coming on the show in a little bit when we start getting more into the politics and you know, whatever. And uh, we were talking and kind of came to things. But here's my thing, y'all. And, and this is. I was talking to my my moms and family and stuff like that and my family all around the world and stuff. And most of us vote Democratic. Right. But when I talk to them, they have conservative values. Um, my family is pro-life. My family is pretty big Christians. My family is this. My family is that. But when I speak about President Trump to my family members and not just my immediate family, but outside of my immediate family, cousins, aunts and stuff, it's like a visceral hatred reaction. Right. But when they name the values that they love and cherish, Christianity, God, uh, guns, um, this and that, it's all Republican and Trump like far right values. So I'm I'm like, Mom, Auntie cousin those are the three i spoke with specifically i said why are why are we so emphatically behind the left when you don't believe in abortion you don't believe in uh in in really my family doesn't believe in most of the democratic big top issues which is lgbtq rights i mean my I mean, maybe maybe they are. I don't know. We don't really talk about that that much. Maybe they are. Who knows? I don't think they really care that much, to be honest with you, right? Uh, most people, to be quite frank and honest with you, aren't that big into LGBTQ rights. That's a big push for the Democratic side, right? Most people, if we're being honest, would align politically more with the conservative side. Most people would, right? Most people don't want more control of government. That is what one side pushes versus another. One side pushes more money. And things being harder, but if you make more money, things are better. The other side pushes, let's make things easier. Easier. It's a little easier. Everybody has a little more, more money, but the money, money's worth a little bit less. That's essentially the, the left versus the right in a nutshell right there, right? But this whole thing has been kind of microcosm to a really racist, not racist, but racially charged, but not even racially charged. Uh, it's almost like this, 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 this fascinating representation of what happens in these social media and our online community. So once again, let's just take a little... Oh! Oh! Oh my God! And let's rewind back and let's talk about something in a critical issue here. All right, let's talk about something. It's a critical issue. I want to thank you for joining. Make sure you're liking the videos, ladies and gentlemen. Like the stream. Like the stream. We got a twenty dollar donation. Did we get a twenty dollar donation from JJ? Thank you so much, JJ, for the twenty dollar donation. I uh, I really do appreciate that. G French is in the building. She says, "I feel you and I understand you." JJ with the twenty dollar donation. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying the uh, live stream, you can donate. The cash app is in the uh, description box. It's also on this camera. You see the cash app Truth Seekers right there. We also have a camera counter. We have not dropped the camera a single time in a few different live streams. But if you guess after uh, zero how many times the camera drops, then you will be in the raffle to win a ten dollar cash app upon the ending of the stream. That is what that camera crash counter means because we are shooting off <laughs> a very unstable tripod. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I hope your day's been going. Good. Good. I hope your night goes even better as we transition into this wonderful Monday night. We have a Tuesday morning you got coming up. Shout out to my 9 to 5ers. Shout out to my all-nighters. 
special place in my heart for the All Nighters. Listen, we got Girl Boss at the building. I haven't seen Girl Boss's name in a very long time. I don't think I've ever even seen it. Women that want abortions will have to travel, and it'll be protected under state law. Okay, so if you're going to make an amendment for women who do want to travel, okay, that's what we're seeing right there from Sugar Bum. If that's the case, it won't be a federal crime because if you do travel across state lines to commit or if you actually are in the procession of a crime, it becomes federal time, and you do not want federal time because that means you have to do 85 percent of your time the feds have a 98 percent conviction rate or 97 percent conviction rate that means once they got you they got you and so it'll be interesting to see and apparently according to sugar bum they're going to go ahead and add legislation to make sure that that does not happen and that women will be able to travel i know california right now is actually making something to where it's state provisions to make sure that the abortion issue does not touch them whatsoever and so we're going to go ahead and check that out i know california has gone like above the freaking map to to figure out what's going on right here so check this out california abortion clinics braced for out-of-state surges as bans kick in my goodness Look at this damn website. I can't read anything. California abortion clinics braced for out-of-state surges. The state has pledged to be a sanctuary with people seeking reproductive care potentially rising from 46,000 to 1.4 million. Whoa. That is insane. With more than half the U.S. states set to outlaw abortion, California has vowed to become a sanctuary for people seeking reproductive care. The state has put forward a package of legislation to expand access for residences and support people seeking abortions from out of state. The state's governor on Friday signed a bill protecting patients' abortions providers in California from civil liability. Researchers estimate that California could see nearly 3,000 percent. My God increase in the number of people whose nearest legal abortion providers in the state. California's annual patient load could rise from 46,000 to 1.4 million. Tell me it's not about money. This is this is what California needed to dig themselves out of the economic hole. This was it. California's GDP is about to go through the roof. This was the turnaround that they needed economically. Yeah, at least it's going to contribute to it. That's for sure. I didn't see that beforehand, but that makes sense now. We have known for quite some time that we would have to rise to this occasion. Okay, well, they knew it. We didn't. Pickney said, we're trying to fill a need where federal government and state governments have failed their people. And that's why I was so confused about this entire incident, because I didn't know if it was going to be a state or a federal issue because you're crossing state lines. We just got done speaking about how it becomes a federal crime once you actually do something across state lines. Clinics have already been seeing rising number of patients from states with restrictive abortion laws, such as Texas, which has a very, very, very strong relationship with California. And they are preparing for more. Planned Parenthood affiliates of California said this clinics have seen an increase in patients from Texas. Texas and Arizona and is treating roughly 1,500 out-of-state patients each month, a large proportion Jesus, of whom are seeking abortion services. I think it's going to be hard to tell what the surge is going to look like. Folks will be going to California to get what they need, said Lisa Matsubara, the general counsel and vice president of policy of Planned Parenthood Affiliates of California. We're going to do everything we can here, but that does not replace being able to get care in their home state. Some people are just not going to be able to travel, and that's the devastating part of this decision today wow 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 california is about to boom with uh millions potentially billions if i'm you know thinking about that and if i'm right in the way that i'm thinking about that money okay let's go ahead and go to twitter because jesus <laughs> twitter is a cesspool you can still get plan b y'all uh do you think plan b pills are going to go through the roof Will Plan B pills go through the roof? We could do a poll, but yeah, we don't have to do a poll. What do y'all think? They're fifty dollars right now, um, and I believe they're still available. Can you get Plan B near y'all right now? Because that's going to be the biggest thing. I did want to say something, <laughs> so uh, I was just kind of looking, and I clicked the reviews. Right, so I, I always click reviews. Um, well, I, I tried to click the reviews. There we go. We all. The first review was from a day ago. It was from somebody named Don't R Worry. And it's legit because it, it was actually pictures of a pregnancy test here, uh, which I'm not sure. Is that pregnant or not pregnant, ladies and gentlemen? Can y'all help me out? I see a very faint blur. 
on the second line. So is she pregnant? Uh, she left a one-star review on these. She says, took it the day after unprotected sex. Four weeks later, I'm pregnant. Thanks, Plan B. Hmm. Took it the day after unprotected. Is that how Plan B works? Can somebody help me out? Did she take it wrong? Did it not work? She said either my boyfriend has strong sperm or it doesn't work. That's what that's what the review says. Sorry for the language warning. Either my boyfriend has strong sperm or it doesn't work. Wow. It's very interesting. So she's had a dilemma. She bought two. This is two pregnancy tests. Clear blue. So, and they both look the exact same. How's that? I mean, that, that looks like not pregnant to me. How would I know? I've never had a kid. And when we take up the cross of Christ, we're saying goodbye to sin, goodbye to lying, goodbye to homemonging, goodbye to gambling, goodbye to the murder, goodbye to rape, goodbye to robbery. You know, I'm not coming back to you anymore. That, I think that's the apex. Thank you, Quincy. I'll tell you what, Brother Quincy is always here. Um, he's there. He's guiding uh, all the brothers that have uh, 400 year sentences in uh, Angola for murder. And they are uh, the Reformation program. I'll tell you what, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Plan B doesn't always work, so plan A seems to be the better choice. Random user says if you use plan B one step, take one plan B one step pill as soon as possible in less than 72 hours after unprotected sex. Girl boss says that literally said not pregnant. Okay, thank you, girl boss. So she left a one star review. <laughs> She's tripping. Kim Banks says many states will outlaw completely regardless of grape or in. And and here's the thing, y'all. Listen, all right, most most people aren't getting graped, okay? Most ladies aren't getting graped. I know that it happens. Uh, I know that it happens, but most that's not the case most of the time. So uh, the morning after versus the day after, interesting. Laura says, as hard as it is to prove Vita, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It should be up to the rape victim. Okay, my thing is, why are we always arguing uh, that these women are rape victims? Most women getting abortions right now weren't raped, y'all. Most women getting abortions aren't aren't raped. You know what I mean? I mean Wild One says people are not pushing against any type of contraceptives that don't murder babies. I know I know that's what I'm saying. I mean, my thing is this. Condom that's how that, that's how I don't have babies. So my thing is this women will be like, okay, well, tell guys to wear condoms then. I'll be like, well, I did. I don't have any kids. I did. What do you what do you mean? I, I, I get that and I do understand that. The reality of the situation, because I've talked about this, you all know we've talked about the, the accountability, you know, uh, the 50-50, the importance of both parents, the dynamic yin yang, salt and pepper, peanut butter and jelly, sour skittles. And I guess we'll say peanut M&Ms, right? We, we all know about the combination and how effective the two-parent household, regardless of whether you think it's man or woman or whatever it might be, is. I'm not even here to argue that right now. I'm simply here to say that if that's the case, then that should be what you are as well or what you represent or if what you're trying to put on people is what you have to be doing too. You know what I mean? Type of deal. So... Like people will be offended, like, oh my god, it's not your, it's not, it's you know, my body, my choice. I'm the one having this. Like, well, cool. I mean, but I'm. It takes two people to still create the baby, right? Because you want to let me know that I have to wear the condoms too. So I'm just trying to keep this thing fair all the way through on all sides, just being really realistic. Yeah, I, I do, I do wear condoms, but I'm gonna be honest. At the end of the day, the women are gonna be the ones that carry the baby. So I mean, it's 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 infinitely more important that yeah. That, that a woman makes sure that she takes the precautions, especially now. Regardless, irrespective of whether or not this happened, the Roe v. Wade cancellation happened, it shouldn't change how serious you take contraceptive. It sh that shouldn't have, Roe v. Wade should not have been the thing to be like, oh man, I guess it's time to go ahead and start, you know, safe sexing it up. It shouldn't have taken, <laughs> you know what I mean? We should have we should have been there a little sooner <laughs> than that, y'all. But it's okay though. We gotta live and we learn, and once we know better, we do better, <laughs> right? 
Most abortions come from one night stands going wrong. I would agree that a lot of abortions come from one night stands going wrong. Guess what? A lot of our friends are one night stands, y'all. A lot of y'all's friends, man, I'd say probably what, 20, 20, 25% of y'all's friends. Now, the parents might have known each other before the one night stand, but as far as like a straight up one night stand, I'm not going to lie. I'd say probably like 15 to 20% of the population is straight up. I'd say 15% is straight up one night stands. Like the people didn't even know each other or maybe knew each other for a week. Straight up, straight up, straight up. And yeah, of course. But once again, like y'all just getting together and smashing without a condom? Like, bro. Ah! Oh, shit. Don't do that, please. Take your health very seriously. Trust me. Don't ask me how I know. Take your health seriously, y'all. Take your health seriously. And 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 guys, JJ, I just said that. Yo, JJ just said that. JJ, that's why you're mine. I just said the STDs is what kills me. Y'all be acting like it, like HIV, like trichomyces, like herpes. Like, yo, check it out. I'm gonna tell y'all a party. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a story, right? I was in college. Story time. I was dating a girl. We went to a hotel party, and at this hotel party, it was like ratchet, pretty much in the hood type deal, and it was off college campus. I was actually going to visit her family with her, right? So we were at this random hotel party, now on college campus, and she was back home visiting because she went to a different college in Austin, far away from me. So we went to this hotel party, yeah, 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 and her friends, she was meeting up with some of her friends, this isn't that, and her, one of her friends broke down, started crying, man. One of her friends broke down, started crying, and ran to the bathroom while we were there. So I didn't know that many people there, so I walked to the bathroom with my girl, and she walked to the bathroom with her friend. And so we walked in there, and the friend's name was Asia, right? So Asia's crying, yada, 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 and she's like, what's going on, Asia? What's going on? Asia's sobbing. I'm like, yo, what's going on, Asia? Like, uh, did somebody die in your family? Uh, I don't know what's going on. And she was like, no, uh, I have, she just said it straight up. She said, I have herpes. And she said that she was in pain right now. So she said that she got herpes from this guy that went to the same college that I went to. I knew of the guy. I didn't know him. But we never met each other, but I knew of the guy because he worked out in the same gym. I guess they got together unprotected. They exchanged bodily fluids. She comes up with herpes. Uh, now she's having like a first outbreak on that day of the party and everything was OK, I guess, until something happened. Uh, maybe she was drinking. I don't know how how the how, how it works or anything. So I'm not going to give any medical information, misinformation. But we started drinking. After a while, she started tripping out. She was crying in pain. She had a hard time, yada, yada, yada. And we pretty much tried to like talk her through it. And yada, yada, yada. That traumatized me, yo. I was like, whoo. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> hey, I've had my experiences. <laughs> all right, so I, what can I say? But fortunately, thank God Almighty, and I know we've all gone through things. I'm not here to try and downgrade anybody's health because I'm sure in the future I'll have health crises from some of the stupid things I've done in the past too, right? The things that we do in the past are going to come back to, 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 you know, to help and, or, or to get you. NJ Prophet says condoms don't stop herpes. Jesus. Um, condoms don't stop herpes. Is that true? The things you do in the past do come back, ladies and gentlemen. They do come back. Make sure you like the video. If you can donate, donate to the Cash App Truth Seekers, T-R-U-T-H-S-E-E-K-R-S. -E -E I appreciate everybody that donates and supports the channel. If you can't donate, it's okay. But if you can, send a dollar, send five dollars. I appreciate that. Even if it's five people, $25 a stream helps to keep this lights going. We're getting back into it. We will be talking political. I keep everything tied in integrally to our message. Listen, Cynthia G is getting destroyed right now. She's not necessarily losing viewers or anything like that. That's not even necessarily important. But it's important to start having the conversations of reality that are based in reality that can actually start to help and solve true issues going forward where we can actually have and give legitimate pre 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 right this is before right and so pre contraception before you actually conceive the thought before you actually conceive that negative before you actually conceive that negative uh, uh, energy that negative thought that negative whatever it might be before you get there we're trying to cut the head off the snake so we don't have to get to the contraceptive we're trying to cut the head off the snake so we don't have to abort the baby Cynthia G we're trying to cut the head off the snake so we don't have to even get pregnant in the first place when it's not time or if it's not time or if it's not the right time or if it's not the woman's choice at that time or whatever it might be we're trying to solve all of that how do you solve that well you start telling women to carry if they're getting raped 24 graped 24 7 jesus there goes demon there goes monetization donate to cash app if they're getting raped 24 7 you start preaching to go get a firearm you start preaching to go get a knife you start preaching to go get pepper spray you start 
start teaching to go to judo class. You start teaching to go to taekwondo. You start teaching to go to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You start teaching to go to tai chi classes or any type of Krav Maga class or any type of other class that has to do with uh, circular type or bodily motions or things that they can use their body to start to leverage against their attackers or rapists on. This is what all feminists should be talking about. All women should be armed in the streets. No matter. So you can wear whatever you want. You can walk bare breast naked if you want to. Walk bare breast naked and feminist America if you want to do that because you're armed and you're prepared for any type of situation. That should be the actual measure. Therefore, you can go and live out your, your rights the way you want to live them out. Nobody can mess with you. And if somebody decides to try and mess with you, you're prepared. But it just so happens that the same group that's fighting for more rights also enables a government to take away more rights, like taking away gun control. Well, if you want to walk down the streets with your breast out as a feminist, it'd probably help you a little bit to have a firearm on your hip. Now, I'm speaking specifically to a very, you know, sided temp, you know, one side. I'm just, I'm just saying, you can't go around saying, oh, we need more rights, we need life, liberty, and we need to be able to do what we want. I want to wear what I want to wear. It doesn't work like that. Guess what, y'all? I know it's not right. Thank you for, uh, Cindy said she'll donate on the cash app. Cindy, you're, we have something special for you, Cindy. We have something very special for you, Okay. I don't know. I don't play this this often. Oh, I thought I think I got rid of it, Cindy. Don't worry. We'll go to a Trump special right now, okay? Shout out to President Trump. I don't care. No, I do care. I do care. If you like President Biden, shout out to Joe Biden. Shout out to President Biden. But I mean, come on. What other president you know does something like this? I mean, the dude, President Trump, is just a boss, man. What can you say? He's just a boss. You don't have to like him, but the dude doesn't care if you like him. And I like that, man. You know, because I think there's, there's something I identify in with that as a YouTuber. You know, people trying to do, you know, how much people try and, you know, what people try to do to us. There's something about just saying, you know what? I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you don't like me. I know what I do, and I do it well. I like that, man. Sue me. We'll have more unwanted babies. Oh, boy. Here we go. We'll have more unwanted babies to be abused. I need some. Let me get some. Um, let me get some, some some sad music here. All right. Sad music. No copyright. Hold on. I got to go through because if I don't put the no copyright, then the stream goes down. The way you do that, by the way, if you're a content creator, don't just type no copyright right here. It's not going to work. Go to the filters tab click filters and create click creative commons that ensures you don't get sued all right here we go sad background music what the hell is this i'm going back hold on y'all happy sad piano music man can we get some sad music all right Give this one a check. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to this comment. Where are the babies? We'll have more unwanted babies to be abused, and that's a win somehow. All right. All the babies. All the beautiful babies. Why are the babies crying? All right. So we played a minute. Uh, for the babies that will be abused, but Panda, I don't want to. I don't want to because I know I just gaslit the absolute hell out of you. So I know it's probably like you're like, wow, dude, you're really making fun of me trying to look out for the babies. And here's the thing, Panda, I know that you really feel like you're looking out for the babies. I do. I know you really feel like by aborting the fetus, you're looking out for the well-being of the child, right? 
I understand how you think that's 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 the case, right? For sure. Now, I would be interested in potentially in uh, y'all can hop into the Zoom, the Zoom panel. I don't know if anybody hopped into the Zoom meeting. I'll drop the Zoom link if you want to hop into the Zoom. Hop in. There's a password. You got to put the password code. There's the link. There's the password code. I, I do want to ask because I know you I, I have to understand the exact angle you're trying to come at it from. But I'm going to assume it's one particular side of the angle. So you're looking out for the protection of children who won't have the parental structure or economic fortitude to be brought into a world of comfort and stability. In that case, it just depends on the place that they're being brought into so in america for instance bringing a kid into the world is a lot easier than maybe in certain countries because of the resources and the access that we have here in america we have adoption centers we have adoption clinics we have hospital clinics we have homeless shelters specifically for women and children there's so much for women and children in this country that if there's some sort now yes Abuse absolutely does happen for sure. Abuse absolutely happens. You best believe it. But uh, it's it's one of those things to where it's like, okay, well, hey, don't hop in a car because you might just die in a car crash today. Don't fly in the plane because some planes crashed. All right, let's look at when did the last plane crash? Anybody know when the last plane crashed? Plane crashes at Ridgely Airport in Lebanon County, small plane crashes, two killed, Roanoke physician injured. I need like a normal. These are all small planes, you know, like people crashing their planes and stuff like that. Maybe it's not a good idea to fly, fly a small plane. We might have to scrap the plane. <laughs> the, the plane example right here. <laughs> I don't think it's a, small idea, a good idea to fly a small plane, period. But that still kind of proves the point, right? Either way, if, if you don't think it's a good idea, do it, don't do it, but you're either going to sit on or get off the commode, right? Now, yes, there's an opportunity and a chance the plane could crash, but you can't have that perspective and that mindset with life like, well, the kids could get abused. Well, we could end up going and the movie theater could uh, could have an electrical situation, so why don't we just go ahead and stay home and rent it? It's like, no, bro, just get up, go to the damn, don't go to the movie theater because movie theaters are dirty. Go out, go experience something new. Um, I'm not saying go make a kid. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that if two people who are like, you know, addicted to drugs, you know, end up getting, you know, are like addicted to horrible and they're like killing themselves day by day by day. I'm not saying that they should bring a kid into this world. No, I do agree that that is a situation where they should have the ability and where they should probably be led to not bringing a child into this world to where abortion actually does happen. I'm not saying, no, we need to bring every single baby into the world and this, this and that. That's the problem with politics and with people and with government nowadays. There, you either have to be on one side or the other. You don't have to be, you, you don't have to be a complete Cynthia G mindless minion to see reality and truth in the situations and the words that, that the manosphere speaks sometimes, right? Or you don't have to be a Kevin Samuels minion to see the reality of the, to the truth that sometimes the, the manosphere might actually actually say every once in a while the broken clock is even right two times a day but when you get into such a fanatical mindset that you don't even let the clock be right two times a day you have an issue right because you don't control time you aren't powerful enough to control time the, the you're not powerful enough to control life Whew. Now, Panadex says there's so many children that need to be adopted now. Well, Panadex, the bigger thing, Panadex, and I agree with you. I think that's a great point. The bigger thing, Panadex, and thank you, Panadex, for the great points. The bigger point would be here is, once again, uh, figuring out what the market is and then going ahead and providing sexual sex ed, right? Which is, well, they held that in high school. They took it out. A and actually providing... Where it's safe, more safe sex courses and therapies, uh, therapeutics for for each other. The the thing about it is, is that the adoption centers, yes, will have more people. Yes, absolutely, one 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 hundred percent. Women will have more children, absolutely one hundred percent. But there has to be some sort of recourse or consequence in order for any type of change to happen. Nobody changes unless 
the change is almost not not necessarily forced, but nobody's changed. I mean, you don't have to change if you don't have to. You know what I mean? Like change, it's not a comfortable transition. It's sometimes it is uncomfortable, and sometimes it's like, damn, I don't feel like this is right. But I'm just saying, me personally, uh, you're not gonna do that to my kid. <laughs> Hey, you're not mine. You can you can have him and give him to me. Have her give her to me. Uh, but you're not gonna get rid of my kid. You know. Um. So as far as the adoption thing and everything like that goes, yeah, uh, there are certain situations where I would not have the kids brought into the world because a it's a health concern when you have drugs and things of that nature. It's already an economic concern when you have things of that nature. Yeah, I get that. I'm not for every kid being brought into the world. I'm way more for the other side, as a matter of fact. And and I know we talked about governmental control and things of that nature. Um, but listen. I'm for both sides if we're going to have that that type of control because I really am that much pro-life. And some people don't like the idea of the, you know, permanent contraception or sterilization or whatever it might be. People are like, oh, my God, sterilization? Well, you should sterilize yourself, true. No, I don't have to. I don't have any kids. I don't have to sterilize myself. I'll, when I'm ready to have kids, I'll go have kids the, the right way. Well, well, in my time. I don't want to say the right way because kids, listen. The kids who are born out of in very bad times have gone on to do amazing things in life. So I'm not God. I just got done saying I'm not God. So who the fuck am I? So I don't want to say the right way, but in a time where I can afford them a lot more because I can barely afford myself. So in that way, I'm going to say the right way. <laughs> All right. For me, that's the right way. For, for you, it might be something different. Um, but it's not to say that you can't have fun nobody's trying to stop the sexual revol revolution or anything that's all a sexual revolution question or a comment nobody's trying to stop the sexual revolution nobody's trying to stop women from having sex i don't care how many sexual partners women have uh, I'll, I'll ask when we get into the relationship and i'll think about it for the night and it will probably bother me if it's you know above 15 it will it's gonna bother me a little bit for that night and probably for the next night or so and then i'll be fine after that because i realize that i'm in the 40s and so I can't, I can't, I just, I just gave it away. Okay. I am in the forties. And so I can't even say, you know, I can't, I can't be up too upset about, at that. She's at 15. Hey, okay. Well, okay. J Cole, multiply it by three. She's at 45. I'm at the same number. So we're good. Right. Self-control. People are still going to have, this is delusional thinking. Well, you know, Kim Banks, I'm glad you said that. And that's exactly the reason that they're having the issue and why the issue is going on right now. You know what? Because they do realize that, you know what? People are going to do exactly what they do, regardless of whether we give them a quote unquote solution uh, or whether we give them a whatever it might be, there will always be the same end result right now. Why would this have come up? Once again, Kim Banks, some people think that this is purely white racially related, that white people going exist are going extinct in 2045 is why they decided to stop this. And I typed this in a little bit ago, but it's the white population 2044. Brookings.edu presented this a little bit ago. This was in 2018. The U.S. will become minority white in 2045, the census project says. This new project statistics um, pro projections confirm the importance of racial minorities as the primary demographic engine of the nation's future growth, countering an aging, slow growing and soon to be declining white population. The new statistics project that the nation will become, quote, majority white in 2045 during that year. Thank you for donating to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you donate to the Cash App or PayPal if you support this message. During that year, whites will comprise 49.7 percent of the population in contrast to 24 percent. Uh, uh, in contrast to 24.6% for the Hispanics, 13 for the blacks, 7 for the Asians, and 3 for the multi, uh, per whatever. The shift is indeed results of two trends. First, between 2018 and 2060, gains will continue in the combined racial minority populations, growing by 74%. Second, during this time frame, the aging white population will see a modest immediate gain through 2024 and then experience long-term decline through 2060, a consequence of more deaths than births and uh, that was written by uh, Mr. William H. Frey so there's a lot going on right here some of y'all think Cynthia G's an agent let me just say something for a brief second okay let me just say something 
I spoke on this very briefly, and I'm, I'm not going to get, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to get too Illuminati right now. But let me just say, I had a conversation with a YouTuber, with a guy who's in very, he's in connection with some of the biggest YouTubers in our sphere, right? I talked with this guy, and uh, he's very close friends with the big, big, big YouTubers, right? And um, he told me some things that I can't repeat on air right now. But just let me say that it definitely shocked me when he did tell me that it is it, there are people placed in specific positions in even our community. That's all I can say there. Let's go ahead and read some comments. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I'm telling y'all. I had that convo. I was like, "Woo! that is all the way up conversation right there. Don't worry. You can still buy your plan B, ladies and gentlemen. You can still buy the plan B. It might go black market. You might have to pay $100 for the plan B. Somebody might try and buy them all up. They might be going st stolen or missing off the back of UPS trucks or something along that nature. I mean, who knows? You know, we're going to go ahead and go through the Twitter mess for a second. You know, it's pretty serious right now over on twits I hurt the hardest in this i lived in a world where abortion was illegal now people still got abortions well to do you know when you know the world that she lived in where abortion was illegal it was the world when like white people pretty much ruled the nation and what they're doing now trying to i mean not necessarily it's what well, i mean they had the most people in the nation too you know what i mean i'm just it's not a racial thing. I'm just saying. It's not. It's really not a racial thing. I'm just saying I just don't understand what she's... It doesn't mean... Two women who could travel to another state, uh, who could go to another country, they still had access. Right. Other women still tried. They ended up scarred for life. Uh, they ended up, some, taking their own lives rather than facing a pregnancy that they could not bear. Today, the consequences of this decision will fall hardest on poor women. It will fall hardest on women of color who already face higher maternal mortality. Rate. So that's, a, that's another interesting point. They project this issue as a, as a woman of color type issue. I don't see many. This is New York City. I don't see many black women. And I just don't see black women out as much as I see white women fighting for this. I don't see any niggas. <laughs> niggas. Niggas are gone. I don't see any black guys. Oh, we got one. There was one black guy. He's holding a skateboard. Does that count? Of course that counts. I used to skate. What am I talking about? I used to I snowboard and skate. And I'm black, damn it. And I got to look at that. It's okay. So we do have a black guy. But seriously, though, just ask. I'm just telling y'all just to look. Just think a little bit. Do we have any black people in New York? I know we have black. I know we have people in New York. You know why? Because some of the channel members in New York right now. So she's speaking about minorities as the majority walks by which claim to be affected most. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Truth Seekers Live podcast. If you want the truth, then, uh, y you know, some people can't handle the truth, they say. Um, it's an interesting situation. It's a very, very, very interesting situation. <laughs> Aquarius guy says, I'm black, damn it. There you go, Chris. We'll drop the bomb for you. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it right. I'm white and that's... <laughs> I'm white and that's right. <laughs> Hell no. Yo, we got an A. You know, tip for tat. There you go. Cindy Temple said in her day they had no birth control. We got tons of it now. Woo. Cindy Temple with the bomb. Cindy Temple said in her day... They had no birth control. We have it now. Jeez. Angel said, if Latinos are white, then there's no decline. But if they aren't, then why did the powers that be flood them? In 
I'm asking serious questions tonight. Sneaky Beanie is laughing. Country boys in the building. Good evening. Truth, like I said, I've been told by the Moors and other truth seekers, two thirds of our people got to go, assuming that two thirds are disobedient, sinful. It's good to see Country Boy in the building. We don't advocate for any violence here on this platform. I hear what you're saying, though, Truth. I mean, uh, 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 Country Boy, I appreciate you commenting, man. I got to give the disclaimer for Susan at YouTube. Susan Wozniak at YouTube. Panda, I'm trying to copy you. Kim Bang says, oh, please, and where is the responsibility for men? Kim's upset at me. Kim said, you act like men are all of a sudden going to start marrying women before sex. Well, Kim... Uh, we've we've come to find that a lot of women don't want to get married right now um and in my opinion marriage is going to be it's going to be a lot different in the next 50 years i don't even know if the function of marriage is going to be the same over the next 50 to 75 years i believe that marriage is going to be even in my i think it's going to be separated to where people can be married in a different way of how they're married now like you'll be able to be married on paper but differently you won't have to share assets nearly as much it, I think it's going to be a different type of relationship going in the future. And I'm still hypothesizing about that, so give me a while. But, Kim, not a lot of women, well, a lot of women don't even see marriage as something that's that important. I made a live stream a while ago titled, Do You Even Want to Be Married? I'm sure it's somewhere in the archive. Maybe I deleted it. But go look at my page, see if you want to see it. I had women come onto the panel, and I asked them specifically, uh, is marriage important to you? Because what we end up seeing, and let me show you what I'm talking about, uh, Kim. I know I'm not going to be able to find this, but this is on Miss Elite's page. This is going to take a long time to find this in here community tab, but I want to show you why specifically. It was a meme of this guy, and he was the most dusty, you know, messed up, bald, patchy looking hair, like, dude you could ever see. And he was sitting in front of a laptop with, like, trash all over the floor, and the caption said, y'all B-words ain't never going to get married. And it just, it was hilarious because this dude was so dusty. It was, it was hilarity. Let me find this. She has so many memes. Miss Elise has so many memes that she's posted. But once I find it, you'll be like, okay. And it's, it's, it was funny because it makes you think of the people that are online. Online, everybody's high earning. Online, everybody's this, everybody's that. But in reality, we know a lot of these guys are like losers. We know a lot of them might have personality issues. We know a lot of people just aren't who they claim to be online and offline, right? It's just not who they are. Now, people put personas up and fake, fake images, fake everything, fake quality traits and yada 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 and then when you see them you're like what the heck and this is sort of the same thing i don't know if you caught the manosphere conference meeting that the manosphere had right where they all met up in like this hotel room and got together and talked about you know pretty much the same thing that they talk about in the super ratchet panels that they used to have way back in the day it was just you know it was cool that they got to have like a little get together but when you see them and how like terrible and trashy everything not trashy but how cheap everything looked it was like really basic and you were like oh y'all the manosphere y'all the ones saying that women are missing out on y'all the women are like i'm like oh thank you for letting us know this is this is who showed up thank you for letting us know exactly what what y'all are representing so go ahead carry on Carry on with how 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 bad y'all want to date outside of our, the, the the black race and things like that because obviously we're not missing out on too much. Now I can't find the meme right now uh, of that. Dang, I've actually scrolled all the way down to the bottom. Did I? Uh, maybe it wasn't Miss Miss Elite. Shout out to Miss Elite. I can't find it, but let's see. We're gonna type in the Manosphere Conference just to kind of prove my point on why marriage might be losing a lot of its a lot of its value. You know, a lot of its value to a lot of people. Not to mention, a lot of guys have tried to weaponize marriage. Right? They've tried to weaponize marriage. One point six k views on the Black Manosphere meetup. So I know all the guys are always trying to make themselves better versions of themselves. We want to be better guys. <laughs> the Manosphere is about. Making men's better means. Um, let's listen to this for a second. I'm talking a lot. Convention. This is this. This is this. Trying to. Oh, it's Minister Nap. It's Minister Nap right there. Minister Jap is a YouTuber. Let's just go to Minister Jap's channel for a say. Right. We caught it. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I know the 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 uh, audio might have been a little quiet, y'all. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Well, y'all know Minister Jap. I don't need to bring up his profile. He's a Manosphere guy. Discredit our masculinity. But Discredit our masculinity? But not all of us have fathers. Not all of us had good uncles. Some I got older brothers that say, you know, this channel right here changed my life. I all right. Let me show you who this guy is speaking. I can't. 
All right, this guy, this guy. Let me, let me, let me tell you why you don't listen to Minister Jap. Okay. You're watching when keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Shug. Is this Uncle Shug? No, this is a song. Man, be cool. It was at this moment Jackson knew he fucked up. Let me take this down. He's got way too much stuff up there. That's going. It's already going to be demonetized, but we at least need to try and get it. So. Man, be cool. Be cool. Damn. 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 All right. Damn. Damn. All right. Now listen. Fights happen. Uh, if Minister Jap would have actually had the chance to do a, a square one or a fair one, he might have actually won the fight because he was bigger than the guy. But I'm just saying, I'm not letting any nigga get close enough to where he can actually touch me to begin with. And if you're letting yourself get knocked out, Minister Nap, I don't know if we have too much that we can talk about. This is oh. oh! Oh! Oh my God! I don't care what y'all say, Lori Harvey was wrong. She was wrong. Lori Harvey was dead wrong. Uh, but I just want to say thank y'all to everybody that came out and everybody who support me from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all because I done lost jobs, bitches. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Family members looking at me crazy, but I'm invested in this and I'm y'all sacrificial lamb. So if y'all can't speak, I'm going to speak for y'all. Had no idea that this would happen six years. This is the man's for meetup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kevin got a million subscribers. I see eight. Never mind. This is where. Uh, I was just trying to. Uh, I started out. Is that is that what's his name? I think that's what's his name. That's um. He's what's his name? I forget the dude's name. He's another big guy with the podcast in a bathroom stall. 15 minutes with a laptop. And I used, I used the bathroom because it was it approximated a um, a booth. Marriage has lost its value for a lot of people. So it's no longer a weapon that could be used against a good amount of the at least the people in our community, you know. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Let's go back to some more comments. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you, everybody, for liking. Thank you, you for donating if you could. And I want to thank you for sharing if you can. Um, and I want to thank you for uh, for uh, for appearing on the coming on the next one when you get some time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Obsidian. That was Obsidian. Thank you so much, Kim Banks. <laughs> I know we had to get the violins. It was bad. It was bad. I know. Cindy said, "Knock the flip <laughs> all the way out." He was. The men and the children benefit from marriage, not women, unless he's rich. Country Bear said, right where that steel at. He did. Minister Fap. <laughs> so I want to also say this. A lot of guys, and I know a lot of guys are really happy about this. I'm not, I'm not really happy. I'm not really this. I'm simply trying to break down how I see the situation and how I feel about the situation. I'm not like, man, now women, now you're going to have to finally come get, get it together. I'm not, I'm not saying that either. Uh, I, that's, that's, I, I didn't rejoice when I saw that, that abortions are going to be illegal uh, at all, uh, I, I simply said, well, it, in, in my opinion, I know that people are going to do what they do anyways, and that is indicative of the bigger problem. People are going to do what the f they want to do anyways. It doesn't matter what you think, what the laws are, F the laws, because this is I have my own version of the law because this is me and this is my thing. And, and, and you know what? Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I just I can't understand that because I'm a guy and I just don't understand. Uh, uh, and I, I'm willing to accept that I don't understand to some extent. I'm willing to accept that maybe I just don't understand, but I, I'm willing to accept and be happy with that as well. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah. True. There will be hell to pay for for mocking the creator's concept and views of marriage. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm not mocking the creator's concept and views of marriage. I'm. I'm simply telling people how other people look at marriage right now. 
But I, I hear you. I know you're not saying that I'm mocking it. I just want to make sure you don't think that I'm mocking it. All right, we're trying to be respectful in the comments. Well, Panda, if you have no children right now, Panda says, I just can't even with you. What's there to take responsibility for? I have no children, and we never have any, and will never, or we never have any because of the current climate. Well, well, Panda, I mean, I'm not sure what the problem is. If you plan on never having children, then it sounds like you pretty much solved your problem where there's not going to be a problem to even begin with. So my thing is that, yeah, I understand the current climate, but what does the current climate as far as like the abortion thing have to do with you not having children right now? Like them banning you being able to have an abortion is irrelevant to you because you've taken the personal responsibility or personal choices or personal whatever to make sure that that doesn't happen. So it's kind of an interesting stance for you to take when, I mean, by your own fruition and by your own diligence, you've kind of not have to, to, to have to deal with coming to that choice. Right. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand you a bit, and I see that you're talking to wild ones in there, so I don't want to... Laura Gale says, we're talking about history. If you look at that, you'll find that women better fend less than men from... Oh, well, yeah, we know it. Okay, today, time, guys. Uh, y'all are great. Okay, I see y'all talking. Uh, Laura says, it's clear up the air about some of my comments because it appears that I have given you the wrong impression or caused you to think I was saying something I actually wasn't trying to say. Oh, okay, okay. Hello, hey, says, abstinence is 100% foolproof. That should be the message that you're preaching, Cynthia G or anybody else. I know we got needs. I get it. But I mean, oh, instead of saying ride the black pole, why don't you just preach the other message of ordering the product through Amazon, you know, or whatever it might be. Um, um, be comfortable being by yourself if that's the case for a good amount of time. Be comfortable with yourself. And I, that's that's what I did. Right. That's what I did. And, 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 all, and when I wasn't, you know, in relationships, then. If I was just friends with benefits type of deal, then it was always making sure that it was, you know, safe every time and yada, yada, yada. Like, there's more to say before we just get to that far out point. Like, there's so much more to talk about before we just get to the, oh, well, if you don't believe in abortion, then you need to go, you need to, go to hell and die. And you're just a, a bigoted Uncle Tom Fudd that just, you know, doesn't understand the modern day women's plights. Like, no, nah, I get that, but... Uh, you also have to understand that the dating situation in 2022 is fundamentally completely different, man, from 1982 and 1992. Like the, the, the messages have to change and the messages will change. And that's why we see the message changing a bit right now going forward. And you're starting to see pushback towards different content creators from some of their subscribers, from some of their own people. Right. It's because people do want to see the real people do want to do want the real. Uh, they might consume junk food for a long time, but it's kind of like you've been consuming Taco Bell for a good amount of time, and then you finally go to an actual like five star, four stars, three star, I don't know, anything above a two star Taco Bell rating on Google reviews, and you consume that food. It's like a completely different satiation. It's like, wow, man, that's the first time I've actually gotten full, 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 and you're full all night. You don't have to eat another taco in three hours because it just passes through you because of all the fillers and the meat. You don't have to just eat. You don't have to follow and go with a bowl of cereal at two or three o'clock in the morning because it's pretty much run through you and you know you're looking for more calories and your body is just aching for food right causing you to break your diet this this and that after you went to the gym yada 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 right you don't have to because you've eaten better quality food and it might have been more expensive for you to buy it might have costed a little bit more at the supermarket it might have taken you taking more time to instead of go to walmart you went to whole foods or you went to tom thumb or you went to i don't know trader joe's or that farmer's market that's close to y'all or the Publix or whatever market that you have close to you it it might take more time to do things the right way, but it's worth it. It costs for a reason. That needs to be the message. Blame Margaret Singers. A bona fide racist. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. But, you know. You know. Man, we haven't even gone through those stuff. We might have to do like a part two. Uh, we might have to do a part two. Um, because there's so much to go through on Twitter. Y'all know I could, sh I could live stream for hours on end with y'all. You know I could live stream for hours on end. But in the interest of keeping things, 
you know, timely. We'll come back on another night. Let me, let me check the donations real quick. Check the, the donors real quick. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is, it is a business. <laughs> No, but still, I, I, yeah, I, yes, the donation for it, I know I talk about it all the time, kill me. But still, don't kill me. Don't try and kill me. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up right here, y'all. Listen, it's been real. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody for contributing, for watching tonight. We're going to come back here in a little bit. Hell of a topic. I'm going to wrap this up. We don't have that many donations. We don't have actually any donations in the Cash App. So we're going to wrap this thing up. We'll be back here in a little bit. Interesting case. Interesting, interesting, interesting case. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is, not what you think it should be. Let that be the message and the leaving message for this, for tonight. It is what it is, not what you think it should be. Truth. I'm out.